This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to work on a project involving color to review working with swatches and strokes. If you'd like to follow along, go into the file menu to open and in the sample files folder, scroll down to 1307 designing a colorful coupon ad and just click open. Let's start by creating five CMYK Pantone colors from the Color Bridge library. To do this, I'm going to open the swatches panel and go under the options menu to new color swatch. In the color mode pop-up, I'm going to choose Pantone Color Bridge Coded. The first color is Pantone 100. So I'm just going to type 100 in the field and hit Add. So I added it to my swatches panel. The next color is orange. So I'm just going to start typing orange. And as soon as I type in the second letter, it says Pantone orange 021 CP. And I'm going to hit Add. Now I'm going to select the field again and just start typing purple. And purple comes up, and I'm going to hit Add. The next color is Pantone 327. Let me type 327 and hit Add. The last color from Color Bridge is green. So I'm just going to type GR, and green comes up. I'm just going to click OK, and you can see all of the colors have been added to the swatches panel. Now, my client also gave me the CMYK breakdowns of three additional colors. So I'm going to go back under the Options menu to New Color Swatch. With the color mode now as CMYK, I'm going to type in to each one of the fields the specified breakdown. In the cyan field, the first color is 10. Then I'm going to hit my Tab key to go to magenta and type 98, and then hit my Tab key. 93 and the K value is just 3. And I'm going to hit Add so I can continue creating other colors. I'm going to select my cyan field and type 4 tab 23 tab 100 tab and 0 for the K value and hit Add. The last color is cyan 100 tab 42 for magenta 0 for yellow and 0 for black and I'm going to click OK because that's the last color. Now we're going to apply all eight of these colors to the fills of these rectangles. I'm going to click on Pantone 100 CP and drag it to one of the rectangles Click on the orange, drag it to the next rectangle, purple to the next, and the 327 is the next. The beginning of the second row is Pantone green, and then the red, this orange, and then the blue. I'm also going to apply blue to this stroke. Well, if I click on the blue and drag it over the top of the stroke, and you can see my pointer now has a little slash mark to its lower right. If I let go, it's going to apply that color to the stroke. Now, let's have some fun with the stroke in the line that's above the coupon. I'm going to zoom in a lot closer so we can see what's going on. And then just scroll down so we can see the entire stroke. I'm going to go to my selection tool and just click on that line segment with the blue stroke. We're going to create a dashed line for the top of the coupon. So I'm going to go into my stroke panel, but this dashed line is going to be really unusual. I'm going to click down on type of stroke and choose dashed. And now we're going to create a dashed stroke with a repeat pattern of rounded rectangles and circles. Is that even possible? Well, let's give it a shot. In the first field for dash, I'm going to leave that 12 points. The gap 
immediately after that is also going to be 12 points. Let me click in my next dash field. This next dash is going to be zero. I wonder if that's even possible. We'll find out when we click in the next gap. And it is doing it, but it really doesn't look like what I want. But let's continue. I'm going to type 12 in the next gap. And to apply it, I'm going to click in another field. And now the secret to creating a rounded rectangle dot pattern. I'm going to click round cap in the cap section of the stroke panel. And you can see you're getting dots followed by a rounded rectangle. Very cool. Now let's fill in the gap with a color. How about this orange that's second from the bottom in the pop up menu? Really kind of cool. In the next lesson, we're going to begin discussing transparency and effects.